Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKRSAR. In this video, we are going to discuss about basics of AutoSAR. AutoSAR is a magic keyword in these days in the automotive industry. AutoSAR is nothing about automotive open system architecture. It's a unique architecture and mainly designed to enhance the scope of application for vehicle functionality without affecting the current operating model. AutoSAR is basically an open and standard software architecture which was jointly developed by automobile manufacturers, suppliers and tool developers. The objective of an AutoSAR is to specify an open standard for the software architecture and software interfaces for the most common functionality in ECU. ECU is nothing about electronic control unit. Before deeply dive into AutoSAR, we should know about some keywords. OEM Original Equipment Manufacturer Original Equipment Manufacturer means who is actually manufacturing the vehicle. They are the OEM. Example BMW Group, Ford, Toyota, Volkswagen. Tire One Direct Supplier to an OEM. Directly supplying an hardware to OEM. They are the Tire One companies. Example ZF, Vistian, Valio, Magneti Merli, Aptive, Tool Provider. Fectar, DSpace, ETAS, these companies are providing the tool for the AutoSAR software component development or AutoSAR development. Semiconductor, Infineon, Freescale, Renesas, these are the microcontrollers will be used inside the ECU electronic control unit. Why everyone should know about AutoSAR before entering into the automotive company? The main reason is to the more advanced development of IoT, machine learning for all these things, the applications inside the cars are getting increased. So for that, they are deploying a multiple ECU inside the car, meaning currently in normal advanced vehicle, they are using minimum 70 to 100 ECU for the to create the new applications. So for that, if we are using the traditional method of application software with the hardware, then always changes are for the application software. They have to rely with the hardware who is actually modifying and selling the hardware. But with the help of AutoSAR, currently application software is independent of hardware. So application software separated from the hardware with the help of AutoSAR. AutoSAR is creating a very common standard for the automotive industry to work in the application areas. So it's a simple development process and we can reuse of the software increases at both OEM and supplier. We can create application software in the top layer and we can use the same software component in the other ECUs who all are connected in the same vehicle network. The benefits of AutoSAR. AutoSAR is giving the benefit to each and every one who is actually contributing actively in the automotive field. For an example, for OEM, AutoSAR, with AutoSAR, the OEM can use the same software code again and again for different OEMs. It's more flexible to adapt for different design and also reduces the time and cost of production because the same software component can be deployed and used in the other ECUs for the other projects. For an example, you are creating on common application. The same application can be used in the other ECUs as well. So in that case, OEM can reduce the cost of production. At the same time, they no need to do the one more time development. For the supplier, others are helpful for them to they increase their efficiency of functional development and create their own business model that is suitable for them. For the tool provider, others are creating a common interface that helps the tools provider to standardize their development process and who all are entering into the market newly for them autos are acts as a transparent and defined interface that can help them understand the industry standard and also to create their own business models in this slide we are seeing about who all are the partner that means core partner in for the AutoSAR development. So here we have a 9 core partners and we have 53 premium partners and we have 38 development partners. So who all are wants to get a job in automotive industry, they can come to know about the company names from this slide. So here we have a general OEM, we have a tire one companies, we have a standard software who is all are selling their stack in the BSW and who is actually providing the tools for the AutoSAR development. Every company list is here in is present in this slide. In the very famous V model design, if according to the V model design, if we will look where the exactly the AutoSAR development will happen, means the red color it's notified as in the module design and module test. Exactly in the red color places, the AutoSAR software component or AutoSAR software development is happening here.
Sil means software in loop. What is the objective of Watasar? So, main objective of Watasar is redundancy activation, meaning no need to develop the same software again and again. The same software can be used for the multiple ECU and EC transfer of function from one EC to another ECU within the network. Again, ECU means electronic control unit and integration of functional modules from different suppliers. For an example, different suppliers developing a software and they are delivering it and integration would be easy with the help of AutoSAR with the basic software. And basically, AutoSAR is a layered architecture and it has three layers. One is application layer, another one is RTA, it's called as runtime environment and third one is the basic software and microcontroller is a hardware actually. So here we have a three layers. In the upcoming video, we will see more deeper about what is the role of this layer. And in this video, we are covering only about basics of AutoSAR. The takeaway from this video is AutoSAR acts as a standard platform for all the vehicle software and it has no application of its own. And the functionality for autos are, are supplied as software components and all the components involved are hardware independent. Finally, autos are will make application independent of hardware. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. If you want to stay with us for more technical videos in autos are, then please subscribe it. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.